in double figures. Time now for the Bearcats post game show here on WNBF, brought to you by NBT Bank. Safe, sound, secure. And we're joined by Mark Makin here on the post game and Coach Wanna Nail Biter. We talked on the pregame about how tough New Hampshire always plays Binghamton. and it was typical fashion tonight. Definitely was. I mean, hey, they played about as well as anyone who stepped in this gym to come out with a loss. I mean, I, I, I truly applaud my guys, but we did some things that we shouldn't have did uh, coming out to the last few seconds of that, of, the, of, of that game. Luckily, you know, the ref just let the guys play the game out at the end of the, the nine, last nine seconds. They, they came in here and they really played us tough like they always do. I don't know what the rebounding, let me see. They out-rebounded us by three, but they had 12 offensive rebounds. Though we had 11, they had 12. I mean, that, that's uncalled for. And they got all the big rebounds at the end of the game to make buckets, to keep them close enough to almost win this game. And that just, just it can't happen. You know, you applaud them, you, you, really, you, you truly do, and you applaud our team for staying in there and, and, and fighting. You know, we, we have to continue to do that in places and games like this. You've got to continue to fight because we won a game, uh, Vermont. We beat UMBC and we come back here. We have to win this game. I mean, you, can't, you can't have a letdown uh, like that. We just, have to, we just have to continue to play. I mean, I'm, I don't feel good about how we play, but I feel good about the win. I definitely don't feel good about how we play because we didn't play well enough, I don't think, to really come out and win this game. You know, the, the basketball guys, as Coach Brodus used to say it, it, we're on our side today. You know, Coach, uh, side. you had um, Dane DeLigro for them fall out late in the regular session in the overtime. He got two good looks from Pena Gayam down low uh, with him out of there. Yeah, I mean, Pena, Pena it does well. Kyrie came in and gave us good minutes. Mo played well. But we, just didn't, we just didn't play well enough to, for, our, for us to come out with a win like this. I mean, basketball guys, again, Coach Broder's basketball guys are on our side. We have to play better. We just have to play better. Well, Coach, uh, congratulations in overtime. Again, a thriller and a great crowd over 4,800. And again, the BU Zoo was behind you. Yes, they were. crowd was great. They made a guy miss a free throw. Finally. That's, that's a beautiful thing with, with having them back. Uh, and there was no football on this week, so it's great. A huge they stayed crowd. with us. Congratulations, All Coach. Right. All right. There you Thank go. You. Interim head coach Mark Macon. The Bearcats do it. They pull it out in overtime, 76-73, to to up their record in the conference.